Okay, so welcome back to the Wet Mammal channel. Before we get stuck in, let's just look back at last year's epic fail when I went out with James from Southern Spearfishing and spent the day on his jet ski trying to land a southern bluefin tuna. Yeah, buddy! Woo! There you go, listen. <laughs> good shot too, straight through. Roll forward a year and I'm ready to try again. Alright, so start of an adventure. This is what I got. Two lovely sports tubes. Excuse the lack of B-roll, my GoPro was still in for repair. It only been about four weeks. <laughs> All right, funny story. So we met up at the airport and uh, we headed to the Airbnb. Turns out we accidentally broke into the wrong Airbnb. And it also turns out that quite a lot of people leave the front door key under a rock next to the front door. Let's go get some fish. Let's go get some fish. Let's go get some fish. Absolutely work this spot like hungry otters, but despite finding amazing holes and incredible ground, um, there just weren't any craze around. Oh, yeah, do you see me throwing up? Just for, for up like three times. I went a bit too close to the to the shelf and I just got refraction and it went straight into my snorkel as I did a breather. And then I went blah, blah, blah. <laughs> After swallowing just over half the bass straight, we moved on to another spot. And James being James pretty much dropped us on a gold mine. So I reached deep into the hole to try and grab the cray. And I tried getting him out. He put up a bloody good arm wrestle. It was like wrestling Popeye. Didn't want to come. About two kilo. It's here. Mm. With the visibility reminded me that of the UK on a good day, the current drifted me off, I kept missing my mark. Again and again, I kept diving down until finally I landed on a different spot and yeah, just happened to see the crayfish sat outside the hole looking at me like, shit, I've been found. Collected him and uh, yeah, turns out this two kilo cray was actually a four kilo cray. 
Oh bullshit you found it. <laughs> Is this a shrimp? <laughs> With a giant four kilo cray on the boat, we thought it was about time to go ahead in for some tuna action. So we headed out to clearer, deeper and bluer waters. The first drop I had was straight on them. I didn't even hit record, I was just too amazed. This was it. The fish were gonna be on, it was gonna be a great day. Holy shit. Fuck me. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm on. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, I think he's running again as well. Now, obviously I've sped this up and chopped it up and stuff, but I actually ended up battling this fish for 25 minutes. So it's just, it took me hours to process what had actually happened and yeah, just absolutely unreal. I left him, I think. <laughs> oh. Fuck yeah, bro. That's so sick. Oh. oh, that's a 25 kilo fish. That's, that's a stonker. So talk us through it. Well, I just dove down, saw a school of them, and they were just like going past like ones and twos. And then, sure enough, picked out the bigger of the, the lot, or what I thought was the bigger. And yeah, waited until I had my shot lined up, and then just fucking rifled a shot straight through it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good. Look at that. Good work, man. Nice brother. Yeah. <laughs> knackered. <laughs> Absolutely fucking knackered. Oh, target species two. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Fucking PB cray. <laughs> Look at it, man. 
It's a good looker. Unbeknown to some of you guys, Aaron is only 17. And because of this, he was hoping to break the junior Southern Bluefin tuna record, which was actually his own record, and he broke it three times in a week. Oh, don't hurry, don't hurry. Now we couldn't finish up the perfect day of a four kilo cray and two massive tuna without grabbing some scallops. It would have just been rude. You can't visit the bay and not get scallops. So we did just that, and this was Aaron's first time gathering scallops. Good fun. What are you talking about? Lemon's a good result. Oh, it is about $5,000 worth of you there. Yeah. Well, more. Well, yeah, definitely more. Because <laughs> that done. After the gear was cleaned up, we packed up our catch for tomorrow's flight and we started the task of butchering these big tuna. This was my first time processing Southern Bluefin tuna and I couldn't get over how much meat was on them. It was just ridiculous. What an experience to hunt such a beautiful fish and process it, knowing how and when the fish was killed. No chemicals, no preservatives, no filler injections, just pure, organic, raw meat. To me, this is priceless.
All right, so here we are, flying back to Sydney. Um, I still can't believe this trip, man. Like, it was absolutely awesome. Came, like, to have everything run out. I booked this trip weeks in advance and to have everything kind of just play out on the first day, PB Cray, Southern Blue Finchino, just what a trip. Just hanging out with the boys. It's, yeah, it's been a while since I got to catch up with James from Southern Spearfishing, and it's, uh, it's my first time meeting Aaron. And uh, yeah, just awesome. Like just <laughs> such a good laugh. We didn't stop laughing the whole trip, even when conditions were shit on the Saturday. Still had a bloody good time. It was yeah, awesome. So just want to say thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'm sure I'll unload and stuff. Sorry about no GoPro and crap video conditions, but it is what it is. But that's it. All right, I'm gonna go to sleep. I reckon. All right, guys and girls, so I can't believe all of this. Look at it. We're going to get stuck straight in. So this is it. Mission complete. I went down to, to Melbourne to smash a Southern Bluefin tuna and have a good time with the boys, of course. And we did exactly just that. We nailed it day one. Like, I can't believe it. We, Me and Aaron both hit Southern Bluefin. James was just awesome on the boat, just killing it and uh yeah we had a lot of fun in the process got some mega craze and and whatnot let's let's go for right at the front oh, look at this bit of soy and sesame oil and we'll get the wasabi out in a minute that's what we do this is why we spear this is why we go through huge efforts to get the fish ourselves um Apart from on Saturday when I ate some of Aaron's Southern Bluefin, I haven't had tuna in five years because I made the commitment to not eat commercially seafood and boy have I missed tuna, but this is completely worth it. So I'm going to get fat on tuna and enjoy. And I'll see you next time.